Hello Collective, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate them all. Let's tap in. Let's get a message for you guys. Let's get the message from your ancestors, your spirit guides. What do they need you guys to know right now? I'm going to get them first. What is the message, ancestors? For the collective, what do we need to know? What do we need to be aware of? Promise. Hmm. Expectation. So did somebody, did you promise something? Yes or no? Yes or no about a promise? Expectation? Is it what you expected? We got purpose to teach? Spiritual throne, privilege, limelight, justice, service. Yes or no, promise. Did you promise something collective? Did you promise your ancestor something? Or did they make a promise to you and it's coming to fruition? I promise that you can expect... That being in your life purpose will teach you several lessons about your spiritual throne. It's a privilege to be in the limelight to bring justice and be of service. But absent personality, it doesn't move anything for your creativity. Take a moment for self-care when it comes to your rules, religion. Or something about a religion here. A little innocent competition and play. A snake was important for something to look like something. So did they test y'all on something? It was important for you to learn a lesson in this situation. So yes or no, promise, expectation. All right. Did you learn a lesson in a situation collective? Yes or no, promise. What? What's going on? Promise what? Yes or no? Promise. Religion. Remember, religion. Damn, it's like they really try and get a, a whole sentence out to y'all right now. Remember religion. The rules. Yes or no? We promise to remember the rules. Remember the rules. Do you remember, yes or no, that you promised to re to remember the rules, do something about the rules, tradition, what, when it comes to forgiveness and faith, the rules of being forgiven and faith brings on a prophecy here and everything is all good. So now as is. Messenger here and now shine communication. So shining some sort of communication may have disconnected you from a perception that you had of somebody. Yeah, and by being you, a chicken could be observing something here about your purpose, what your purpose entails. Somebody that could be had did something here. The chicken is always uh the person like a karmic energy they could be observing something because you remember the rules of forgiveness forgive and forget faith having faith forgiveness and faith you promise you remember you will remember the rules the religion basically religion is forgiveness and faith and having faith so yes they want you to promise to remember something y'all when it comes to the rules of forgiveness and having faith, we got prophecy, self-fulfilled prophecy. Something could be happening now. Yeah, wow. 
So some sort of, yeah, you did. You were very hospitable. Hospitality. Appearance and hospitality. Because now something is changing to now something is, something is going to change for you because you're being hospitable. Somebody is, is grieving now because somebody could have been addicted to changing something. But you were going the right way, compass, to Evermore. But they could be down. They was telling you your uh, Evermore is like true love, soulmate energy. And they was trying to tell you something. The objective was for somebody to do magic on a home, a martyr. Could be very defensive when it comes to some sort of location or something like that. So, having faith, forgiveness, having faith, hospitality here. And somebody could be upset because they could have, something could have ended. Yeah, we got defense. Somebody, you could have protected yourself or they're protecting you here from something. Grave and addiction. Maybe there's a need for some sort of addiction. To come to an end. Because he got alcohol in his hand here. Alcohol, somebody could drink a lot. Hmm. Make sure you set boundaries. Vanity and limelight. We got justice, service. How you get justice is being of service. So something is working because you're learning your lesson. We got body and academics learning your lesson about your health. To stay optimistic. All right. So something has to do with your health and how you see something. How you view something, y'all. These came out like blah. So we're going to just take these for promise religion. Yes or no? Did you promise to forgive? Maybe somebody, a religious person could be promising to forgive something here. Or a religious person could have made a promise that they will have forgiveness in their heart. And this is like yes or no. Did you Somebody promised something, y'all, that they would have some sort of forgiveness. What was this? That promise is sticking out to me. Yeah, because somebody want to be, somebody mad that somebody want to be more than friends with you. Somebody could be upset about that. What's the promise? <clears throat> Ooh, a hater wants to knock you down to size. Someone that simply can't be happy for you. A partying all the time. Copycat. Wanted to copy his style. They're having legal issues. And they mad because somebody see you as gorgeous and then and they could be did something for entertainment. Now the truth was revealed. And somebody don't want to deal with somebody. Somebody promised to knock you down to size. Fourth house. Long distance is somebody that was at a distance here. Fourth house, one's fourth house. Somebody at a distance seeing that you was doing well and they having money problems. Cause they always hide and they don't, they be faking. No money, no talk, spiritual hater. Energy drainer was intimidated by you. So somebody could have promised to knock you down the size or something like that. Somebody that was religious. What's promise? Eleventh house. One social group, friendships. A social life. Bestie. They bestie was confident that they can have a poker face here and hide something. But somebody ex lover got evidence that somebody really wanted to be more than friends with you. Yeah, and the truth could have been revealed that somebody uh did some fuck shit. What's religion? This is somebody that could... Religion is like... Of course, like churches and rules, the law, stuff like that. What's the religion card? What about the religion? 
<clears throat> now they asking for forgiveness because somebody questioning them. What is the religion? Somebody high vibrational. Someone that has a high vibrational personality. How one perceives knowledge. Or if that's how somebody see you. Communication. They could be seeing that somebody could be getting karma. A false sin or fake. Yeah, false twin flame is heartbroken because they wanted to finesse you and they jealous. Because you could have said something about somebody projecting something after you walked away. Somebody knew you wasn't irresponsible here enough to do something on. How one perceives knowledge, rules, and communication. Once again, with that religion. So somebody see how you, your social life, your high vibrational. Somebody knows that here. And you could be getting karma. Somebody could be getting a taste of their own medicine. What's religion? Because you had this high vibration. And how you know you knew some knowledge about something. About a hater wanting to knock you down. Okay. What's religion? Crying over you. Wow. Somebody is crying over you. Why? Because they know, intelligent, you knew something. We got 10th house. The situation involves someone's ambition, their ranking, and motives. Self-love. So your motive is self-love and somebody was acting a fool. Somebody bestie was acting a fool. They looking at them like, you weird for that? So somebody might be getting on somebody that did something to y'all that they know about. And they could have asked them, like, yes or no. Like, did you... No, like, you know this person is high vibrational. They, that's just, that's who you are, period. How you process knowledge. You don't think low vibrational, anything. And somebody could have been crying over you because they could have did something. They wanted to knock you down the sides because of your fourth house. They promised to knock you down the sides because of your fourth house or something like that. Or disrupt your fourth house. Now they praying for forgiveness. What's forgiveness here? Yeah, toxic connection. This relationship involves constant fighting on thin ice with each other. Trying to maintain a relationship. So somebody could be uh, asked for forgiveness about this divine union with a distorted... Because they was in a distorted masculine energy. Or a distorted masculine that could have been doing something for clout. But now they know they met they match because they feel trapped that you're an earth angel yeah and they know that you are very intuitive or you have a lot of occult knowledge and this groupie is woke that somebody was a fake friend that was stalking you but they couldn't control you with spell work because you're too intelligent and because of your ranking. And your ranking has a lot to do with self-love, self-care, taking care of yourself. So somebody know that they can't have no control over you or they can't do something anymore. Forgiveness and faith. What's forgiveness and faith? A distorted masculine. Because somebody might expose this person that was doing something for clout. Someone can't get you off of their mind in the reverse. This person is maybe stop thinking about you. Because they got receipts here. Someone has been keeping tabs and note, and they know they met, they match. It's like, so somebody really feel trapped. If somebody was doing something to you, they feel trapped because <clears throat> feeling like there was no way to improve the situation. Could be feeling stuck in the circumstance here because you're an earth angel. Someone good and pure with honest intentions, kind-hearted, and keeps it real. So somebody feel trapped by that. So whoever this distorted masculine and whatever they was doing, right? They could be crying because they went against the rules. They knew the rules. You knew the rules. That's what I'm hearing. They knew the rules. Hmm. <clears throat> yes or no? So, yes or no, what? Okay. Yeah. Chilling. Being really comfortable. In life, 
not wanting to do the most at ease, at peace in the, in your world. Somebody see you chilling here. A gold digger with a split personality that's being nosy feel like they sabotage themselves. They feel crazy. They feel like they did something outrageous because something was one-sided and they was intimidated by you. So yes or no, you're going to be chilling. So yeah, yes or no, chilling. Yeah, all up in your business, mucha. So somebody chilling here. Somebody trying to be all up in your business, trying to see what you're doing. Yes or no? No. A narcissist, Lord, that is getting karma. It's like this person could be exposed. Who is this distorted feminist thinking out? Oh no, it's a groupie. Okay. That's a spiritual hater. This person could be very religious. But this person is no longer off the grid. Everybody seeing something and they getting karma. And you getting dharma. You keep shining and your light is irritating their demons. It's narcissist that's all up in your business. They found out that you still chilling or something like that. Maybe they was trying to cause some sort of upheaval in your life. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. So somebody made you chilling and they found out your ancestors is telling you that somebody trying to check in on your temperature and they see you chilling. And they all up in your business. A narcissist. All up in your business and find out you chilling. This person is no longer daydreaming of you or daydreaming of something. Doing something for clout for a, dist a distorted masculine because they toxic. So somebody could have been doing this for a distorted masculine. All right. Doing something to y'all for somebody else. And they like, I'm not doing this shit. This shit toxic as fuck. Friendship, whatever. And they want your forgiveness. And somebody want to be your friend now or associate or something. Because they could have promised, like, all right, I will be your friend and then knock them down, knock their fourth house down. And they not doing that shit or something. Someone is crying over you because you knew something. You could have spoke something out. And somebody that could be very religious could be, like, they could have seen that or something. Something about the rules of engagement. That's what I heard, like, from the rip. Something about the rules of engagement, like, when it came to this. I don't know if this person was trying to get married off of you guys or something like that, but they knew the rules. Yeah. Mature male, high honor. So whoever this is, somebody is, is a mature male that's held in high honor. Or they, let me see, what's the bottom? Yeah, they under judgment. Whoever that is. Mature male, high honor. What's the mature male and high honor? Damn, they feel like they made too many mistakes. There's good chances. Good changes are coming for you. Somebody lost everything because due to the fact that you was the earth angel, you just had to be patient. You're going to have a happy new beginning. So this mature male knows that you're a held in high honor. And you had a rebirth. They feel like they made too many mistakes. All right. Okay. You just had to be patient for something. So a mature male knows you're held in high honor. They feel like a dumbass. Why? When it comes to a past life soulmate or a reconciliation. Or they could be trying to get you to reconcile with them. Whoever this person is, y'all. They are under judgment, though. Judication. Wow. Wow. Judgment and lovers and at this time rises on the pathway. So... Um, you could be coming into union with your twin flame or you will be soon or something. Somebody would promise to knock you down before this happened. All right. That's what they was doing. Collect them. People be haters. Like, what the fuck? You have a mighty shield, though. So thank God for that. And you have positive, uplifting new friends. And somebody's mad. But you got positive, uplifting new friends. They don't like this shit. 
Who knows? cars that wanted to come out. Childhood treasures resurfacing. It's time to be brave. You have a loyal guardian though. And positive uplifting friends. So somebody trying to do something to y'all. They working hard to do something to you. They was working hard to do some fuck shit to y'all. The unexpected, uh, the unexpected and the change that they didn't see coming is that you didn't let fear stop you. You're not going to let fear stop you this time. So fear would have had to stop somebody from doing something. This could even like be moving forward in life or something. Wow. And somebody feel casted away. Huh, I'm feeling abandoned because it was okay for you to be alone to calm the chaos. And there was a powerful energy shift. You wasn't somebody victim. What else? You won't let fear stop you this time. Wow, those two cards here. Look at this. Little brother, little sister, the power of three. The past returned for a time, but now it's the time for spirit. So something could have came back around to y'all here to complete something that's crazy. It's 40, 41, 42, and 43. Okay. Something moved forward and you had some sort of powerful personal growth. All right. You're not letting fear stop you this time. And you have powerful personal growth and something that you thought was finished versus is going to burst back into your life. Okay. But I feel like it's for like your highest good or something. Wow. And somebody is like really sad. Wow. How long they thought whatever, but somebody is really sad. Endless regret, obsessive grief. It's cleanup time. The Kashik Library is open to you. Aloha Healing. You found a way to heal somebody that was over abusing their energy. And y'all energy, beauty, and the beast. Y'all needed some space in this relationship. After sadness, happiness, and hope returns. Somebody had a distorted view here. A sewer maiden. Okay. So something couldn't work out for them. They couldn't distort someone's view. And you released your power. So... Take care of yourself. Somebody tried to cause you a lot of challenges for you to see that somebody was doing voodoo. But you found a wonderful idea or they thought it'd be a good idea for you to miss somebody. So because they learned some new skills on how to end something for you. But you had already healed your heart. So somebody had learned some new skills on how to end something for you. But you had already healed your heart before they was able to come back in. Okay, into your life. So they couldn't do whatever they thought they was going to do. Whatever they had promised this person. Oh yeah, I'm going to knock them down the size when it comes to their friendships or their partnerships or their social life or their fourth house when it comes to family, whatever. They promised to do some fuck shit to y'all. Now it's over. Wow. They got to leave it all in the past. You left the past behind, and now something is over. Completely over now. Wow, take a moment to reflect. What's the message right now? Uh -uh. Maybe you take a moment to reflect on why something happened. When it happened, how it happened. And when the powerful personal growth happened for you. Because something that was for you, the universe is saying it was coming back into your life here. Because the narcissist just wanted to know, was you chilling? And they like, yeah, they chilling. Wow. Yeah, there's going to be a reason for you to celebrate. 
Okay. Wow. Somebody could have got fired when you cleanse your space. Termination. So there's a reason for you to celebrate because somebody got fired when you cleanse your space. Yeah. So there's a reason for you to celebrate because when you cleanse your space, somebody lost their job or somebody was terminated or... And you were able to see through the fog that something was meant to be. the space somebody lost their job or they was terminated what else yeah wow it could be somebody that's a group of people toxic family dynamic is seeing through the fog now yeah that you really communication so blocking access denied when it comes to large lump sums of money they know they're going to have to leave this behind. You could have blocked communication. Leaving it behind. Leaving the past behind. Blocking communication. When it comes to somebody that private property access is denied to them getting money or something. They starting to see that now. The toxic family dynamic. Somebody is crying over you. For some of y'all, this not even like a, a relationship. For some of y'all, this was, uh, for some. Some of y'all, this was a toxic masculine. This could have been somebody that was in an organization too. Like a boss, CEO, or something like that. Or a person that worked at a certain place, okay? Yeah. They did something. They was all in their ego. Now they're afraid. They're paranoid now because something ain't going the way they wanted it. They could have promised somebody, like, yeah, I got this, I got that. I'm going to get you all the access codes to the accounts and this and that and blase blue. Like, somebody could have paid somebody. This is another thing I'm hearing. Somebody could have paid somebody to get all access to your accounts and stuff like that. So, oh, that was another download I was getting. Somebody, y'all better be careful be who you do your taxes with this year. Because somebody already contacted the person that you uh, normally go to. If you could normally have like a regular person you go to, um, they already made a deal to switch out some information that somebody would have been able to drain your accounts. That's another download I got. All right. This could be that energy because somebody about to get fired. Whoever this person is. They about to get fired because you block communication. And now they about to see something. They probably going to be exposed for something. There's a reason for you to celebrate because when you cleanse your space, this person got fired. And this ain't they could get fired because they came in too late or they didn't come in late, uh, on time or they going to get fired for some shit like that. Or because they fucked up somebody else's stuff. Or because somebody gonna complain about something that they did. They had promised, this hater promised to knock you down the size when it came to your employment, your fourth house, your stability, your home, your comfort. Like, they, they promised to do that here. This is somebody that they could be in contact with or something, but they paranoid now. Because you separated yourself. There's a separation of an online community. Or just with yourself and your information. So be careful with that shit. This year, y'all, yeah, look. And somebody is pissed. Because maybe these people is expecting a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Because you actually have evidence and proof of something. Somebody could be under investigation. So if somebody trying to access your information, say somebody try to access... Uh, your accounts or something like that from a certain computer and you were nowhere around, right? They're going to, that's another reason why somebody going to get fired. Uh, they could go to jail for that. Somebody going to be mad as hell. They mad as hell that you are, your, your shit is intact. Your investments is intact because this fucked up their investment. 
All right, whatever they had going on. By you not moving forward with them or something. What's this? There's gonna be a reason for you to celebrate. Yeah, you got inner peace. You can be, you can relax. Definitely. Wow. Somebody might get sued for being arrogant. Trying to break up a soulmate connection. Everything gonna be okay. Somebody lay can sleep. It's their worst nightmare. Because they try to put you in danger, sweetheart. And that was a big risk. Because you still move forward. Yeah. You move past this person that was trying to give you advice. This coach, whatever it says. They're now worried that it was all a dream. Maybe they worried that they caused the illusion here. And for real, for real, they was your enemy. They thought this would be a good idea to get the jackpot and cause you homelessness. So they worked in for whoever they worked together with. They, they going to be fucked up, not you. That's crazy. You can't trust no fucking body around these joints. <laughs> what the fuck? Yep, you good. So there's a reason for you to celebrate here. Somebody could have lied about a plan they had. Real estate. Pretending. Somebody could have been pretending. Like, oh, hi, I'm so-and-so from uh, real estate investment. And I was calling on your behalf. And I was wondering if you would like to come down to the... Something like that could have went on too. Huh. So you can be at peace here for something here. Inner peace. We got idea. Maybe they thought this would be a good idea. Visions as well. You could have got a download about this. Somebody also was like really invested in planning something, scheduling you, and they was collaborating with people, getting gifts to do this ritual for this family so they can get money after bullying you. They was going to attach something to you here, some sort of supernatural disturbance, or the people that bullied you was going through something because they overindulged and bribing people for merit. People feel awkward because now they feel like they're going to have to compromise when it comes to your situation savings consideration that about your money so somebody trying to affect your savings but you loved yourself you could have saved yourself by loving yourself child when you cleared your space what happened somebody, somebody started hesitating <sighs> somebody hesitated when you cleared your space They was worried that something was only an illusion now. Yep. Third wheel enemy. You live and you learn. Somebody's worried now that somebody only spent an illusion to them. Cleanse your space. When you cleanse your space, somebody was worried that something was only an illusion. Yeah, third wheel enemy networking. Yep. Teamwork, network, third wheel enemy. Somebody could be failed something. Yeah, because maybe somebody don't trust somebody now. And so they feel like they're going to be fucked up. Because maybe there's somebody you gave to. You was generous to this person when they was your ally. Everything was all good. They was at peace. But now, they was wishing conflict. And they would have control over you. And, you know. And they used the support of coming around again like i said this is somebody that you worked with before hey you know memory over remember no now somebody's overloaded because they about to learn a lesson of misfortune they about to about this curse they did yeah and the preparation that they caused here somebody could be sick After donating to somebody, somebody feel guilty. So somebody could be sick about the donation. Maybe you donated for, to somebody or a group or something. They thought that they was going to come back around and donate again. Take it as it resonates. But somebody thought this would be a good idea to get 
a house or stability or hit the jackpot off of your back. But now you don't trust this person and they're worried now. They was only, something was just an illusion and they failed. Somebody could have lost their job. Termination. Somebody thought you was going to get fired as well. What's termination? Yeah, whoever this person is that was in their ego. Wow, we got withdrawn. Quit. And that's why you got victory and success. Yeah, because somebody was ready, boy. They was ready to cause this conflict. So somebody lost their job. The person that was in their ego lost their job. Or they had to quit. And that's why you're getting victory and success. When you clinch your space, this person and their ego lost their shit. They lost their job. Toxic family dynamic. Who this? Because of the plan was shitty anyway. Toxic family dynamic. What is this? What about this toxic? Yeah, I knew it. That's fed time. What they doing? Somebody going to jail. That's fed time. Hell yeah, they networked here to do this ceremony here. They was networking, doing the ceremony, promising somebody here that they was going to get this gift. All right, this couple could be lost a lot and they're paranoid because they promised your soulmate everything was going to be okay. But something compromised someone's savings or if they compromised your savings here, but you loved yourself here and everybody that was working together with someone is learning a lesson about this misfortune. They are lacking sleep. Somebody's suffering. Bad shit is happening for putting Dane, put, trying to put you in danger, sweetheart. Mm. Somebody going to jail. Somebody, your family could be going to jail. Captive. Toxic family dynamic. Unfreedom. Toxic family dynamic. What's this? Wow. That's why somebody was overindulging and bribing people to get married. They feel weird now. So toxic family dynamics all in their head because you're satisfied. You're going to be good. You're going to get something. We got a gift in marriage. So maybe a relationship or something like that. You're going to receive your gift of marriage. Maybe you, yeah. And you're going to be happy. This could be new friends. This could be whatever. And somebody thought that they could bribe someone. Mm -hmm. Saying, wow. So somebody seeing through the fog, somebody really paranoid because they did promise something. They promised to take care of their soulmate. Could somebody know your soulmate? Wow. Somebody afraid that this going to last a long time? You and this person? I don't know if y'all about to be with somebody or somebody coming into y'all life. Somebody is so depressed because your soulmate is keeping a promise to you. They assured your soulmate. Your soulmate is assuring you here of something. Somebody talk your toxic family dynamic all in their head because you're going to be good and you're going to receive a gift of marriage. They worry because you when you clinch this space, an illusion that you couldn't trust somebody didn't work. Or that it was a third party or something like that. Somebody quit now that because you, you got victory and success in something. So now somebody is seeing through the fog. Your vision is getting clearer here about a promise that you made a soulmate. So, like, for some of y'all, this is y'all. If this is, like, a relationship and there was somebody that you was supposed to be with or whatever, 
you kept your promise to your soulmate. But like I said, this is something that's going to last like forever. This person you marrying and all that cool shit is somebody is paranoid. Because they did do this ritual for this family and they thought that maybe this family paid somebody to bully you. Or gossip about you here. But there was some sort of disturbance so that it could cause some sort of disturbance. But something came to a complete end of what somebody was desiring to do to bind you to something. Or something came to it, some sort of end here. Now somebody desiring a commitment with the professional. And now somebody feels like a victim or a trap. Or somebody feel like they are trapped now because somebody hit the jackpot. Even though there were differences and somebody tried to like overstep their dominated situation. So, like I said, this could be in your love life. Like, it feels, this is feeling like that. Let me see. Let me get some of these. Like, what the hell wrong with these people? Yeah, somebody feel jaded right now. They feel fragile. Why? Because you're the rising angel. You had an awakening. Powerful personal growth. And you're mending your heart. What else? People are talking about this. Somebody really in y'all fucking energy. Checking y'all temperature heavily. So they're gossiping about you dating. Alright. And uh, ending. Wow. So somebody is gossiping about you dating now. So that causes a painful ending to a maternal figure. The, uh, somebody that was trying to have authority over you. And you're going to have luck and love and they know it. Clover, happiness. All right. So somebody checking your temperature heavily, y'all. I don't know. Okay, somebody really in y'all fucking. So something had to do with you not ex having love. I don't know how that. Yeah. So it was a narcissist in between something. So it's giving right. You know how. Like the narcissist show up before the good energy, right? Come into your life. Somebody wanted you to miss the good energy and because they were trying to flood you with narcissists. Like have the worst kind of people in your lives or something like that. These could even be narcissist friends, uh, fake friends, fake fuckers and shit like that. And whoever this is that wanted you to forgive them, this was somebody you was always on a distorted... Um, you was always fighting with this distorted masculine that did something for clout. And you ain't, so how they needed you to do was miss this person. You ain't even thinking about this person. And they feel like because you are moving forward, so the narcissist wanted to know why the fuck. You like, man, I'm chilling. So you in this chilling energy. And somebody like, Shh. it's crazy as all get out. But you got somebody manning in the motherfucker right now, collective. Somebody might want to work with you, Eight of Pentacles, or you want to work with somebody? Literally. Or somebody, yeah, something gonna be long term. So whatever you're about to do, whether this is you getting a new job, whether this is uh, anything, it says advancement on this card. Somebody know you. Something is about to grow for you. Whether this is your actual business, 444, as I said that. So something is definitely going to grow for you, for you because you didn't let fear stop you. You chose love. Now, fear is the energy. So I, the dark energy showing up first. 
choosing fear will keep you stuck in the same loop. And that means that you didn't learn your lesson that forgiveness and happiness and love is the highest vibration. So if you constantly are choosing fear and your pet on your journey, um, you're going to miss a lot of your blessings, basically, is what I'm getting so far from this. Somebody thought that they had control of you, all right, to keep you stuck here. They could have did something impulsively to keep you stuck, too. They try to hurry up and do something. All right. It's a wish fulfillment. So something was a wish of yours. And they wanted you to reject a wish. Wow. Somebody really wishing they could fuck this up for you. This working together. Because whatever you about to do. Eight of Pentacles. Working together. Ace of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. This is long term investment. Something that's going to be long term. Maybe this business you're going to have. is going to be long term. Somebody started something new. Yeah. You did the right thing, Hierophant. We got the Nine of Pentacles here, Six of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. So you being self-sufficient and independent, you could be about to receive something. You could listen to your intuition here. There could be a spiritualist that said that you actually gained your strength back to listen to your intuition and cut somebody off. What's the obstacle? It's like somebody wanted you to go down the wrong path collective. The obstacle is karmic justice to get your karmic. So your karmic, your obstacle was to get karmic justice with your two of cups, two of cups, king of pentacles and justice. Somebody needed the strength to have an equal give and take or balance themselves out. So that was a, that was an obstacle to get your karmic justice with your person. All right. The outcome. What's the outcome? Marriage. Somebody gonna get in a relationship or marriage, and that's gonna close out a cycle of the five of cups. The sadness, the grief, the loss, or something, whatever. That shit is over or something. And somebody is sad about that. I don't know what maybe okay. Toxic family dynamic gifts to a married uh, person. Somebody is paranoid that something is going to be whole for you. Because you had, you got your last piece. So say on your journey, you had to do this. You had to check this off, check that off, check that off, check that off. Right? You had all these things to check off. Right? And... You only have missed one thing and now you got it. The gift of marriage. That's the next gift that's from the universe. All right. With an eternal love or true love or something like that. And you're about to get that or you have gotten that for y'all or some of it is on its on its way. Okay. Take these messages as it's resonating y'all. All right. Somebody is like challenged by that. Something could happen very quickly or something could change. Somebody is heartbroken, yo, pissed off. How the hell, like what kind of, this is like constant spying, divination, maybe constant because that Ouija board was out. Constant watching, 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 watching. So they were able to benefit something if you did not get this. Something could be connected to your north node. Okay, there was a need for you to step out of your comfort zone. That don't, don't let fear hold you back. What's this nine of cups? Yeah, damn, that's crazy. Somebody really was wishing that they could sabotage this for you with magic. What? <laughs> to the two of cups. Somebody was wishing they could fuck that up. They wanted to win at all costs. They did a lot of magic on a two of cups situation. The Five of Swords. They really wanted to sabotage this. But now somebody is being cut out for being able to work with somebody, or somebody's closed off to working with somebody now. They moving forward. Moving forward, somebody gonna be left out in the cold. Somebody don't wanna 
work with somebody no more. It's the Eight of Pentacles. Who they not working with no more? Okay. They not working no more to block you. Wow. To stop you from getting this Ace of Pentacles and having victory and success at it. Somebody walked away. So somebody quit. So you're going to get what you deserve. So this family is like, oh my God. So now the last piece of the puzzle is going to be fixed for whoever this is. Because you listen to your intelligence, Queen of Swords energy. Who the Queen of Swords? Or this is the person that was doing it. Who the Queen of Swords? Three, well, shit. Three of Pentacles. Could be planning to have a brand new passionate beginning. Moving forward, there's going to be... Somebody, an equal give and take. Once where something was a struggle, so now it's going to be too hard for somebody to get information from you now that the cycle is closed because you move forward. So somebody can't get your information no more or find out what you're doing. What's the three of pentacles? Three of pentacles. Yeah, this is a wish fulfillment star card. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this is the real deal. Holy field. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's time for a change, you know? And it's a positive change for whoever you are. So something is the real deal. Star card. This is sent from heaven ass energy. What's the star? Yep, that's the truth. Knight of Wands. Somebody was wishing that they could have a one night stand with you, or put you in a third party situation that would have slowed you down. But something came to light here that you still had the confidence to communicate something, and something is over. Yeah. Damn. So something about to happen quickly. Somebody was wishing. It could have been an air sign that wanted that was planning or working together with someone, wishing that they. You know, they could come and have a one-night stand with you and that would have slowed you down. What's the Knight of Wands? I don't know. Or wishing something hurry up or something. What's this? That you, somebody was wishing that you did something impulsively. What's the, yeah, I told you. Because that would have been able to cause an imbalance, but they can't now. Two of Pentacles in a reverse to the Ace of Wands. You having a brand new passion at the beginning. Damn. Haters or no? They was going to knock you down the size when it came to your fourth house and your 11th house. So check what signs y'all have in those houses, all right? What is the justice? The obstacle was for you to get karmic justice. So this was an issue. Why? Or the obstacle for them is because you getting karmic justice. Nine of Wands. Yeah, because you didn't give up, even though something you was afraid. Like, you was seriously afraid. It even caused conflict for something here. You could have been afraid of your emperor. What the hell? So somebody was afraid of the emperor? But even though you did, you were afraid to move forward with your emperor, you was you still didn't give up or something? I don't know. What's the Nine of Wands? Ten of Wands, or somebody going through karma because they didn't want to stop causing you heavy burdens. Oh, and causing you illusions. They going to regret that shit now. What's this Ten of Wands? Somebody is heavily burdened now. That's their obstacle. They going through karma because they didn't want to stop causing you heavy burdens. Uh-uh. Yep. Four of Swords, but now something is being laid to rest here. Also, it's going to be too hard to get this Ten of Pentacles because something's been laid to rest. Or that's what they wanted for you. The struggle to get this Ten of Pentacles, but you have healed enough for something. Yep, Ten of Swords. So three ten. so something was going on for a very long time. Somebody was invested in making you afraid of something. Seven, Nine of Swords. Mm-hmm. What is the higher fan as your outcome? 
Who the higher fan? The four of pentacles here. They was trying to hold you back or control some news or messages. Somebody don't have all the information about something. What's the four of pentacles? Eight of Swords, the Moon, and the Five of Pentacles, King of Swords. Because somebody told somebody you're moving forward now. <sighs> so whoever the Hierophant is, it could be this religious person that's crying now. Or this even could be the police or something. I'm going to read this another way. This could even be the cops trying to, that is in control of something now. Somebody need a lawyer because they tried to hide something at the, what they was doing. But now they're going to be in poverty here and somebody going to need a lawyer. But they don't have no money for the lawyer. So somebody might be going to jail. Maybe somebody's being held in the police station or something like that. For some of y'all, others... This higher fence, this was like a religious person, spiritualist, whatever. They could be holding back because they're all in their head now about something. Or because somebody got locked up. Or because something is happening to somebody. Somebody all in their head that they're going to be left out in the cold. Because you knew the truth about some sort. Something was an illusion. You knew something. Because they're going to be stuck in poverty. They feel like, because you're holding back from this institution now. Somebody feel like they're going to be stuck in poverty. Because you knew the truth. We got King and Queen of Swords. The King of Swords could be afraid that they're going to be in poverty, stuck in poverty here. Because you held back from this hierophant and you're going to be moving forward. Maybe you held back from something or they can't make no moves on something. Somebody thought they was going to be able to come in and to cause some sort of imbalance if they rush you to do something. Because somebody was really wishing that they could work this work with you here or plan something with you here. Or this is the Queen of Swords that planned, okay, that was planning to work together here. Wishing that they could hurry up and cause some sort of imbalance that you couldn't get out of. But you could have been protected, Seven of Wands, from working together with this person. When you cut them off, they sabotaged everything that they was thinking they was going to be able to do. You could have cut this person off. Like I said, for some of y'all, I feel like this is work-related, okay? Like I said, with the attack situation, all these damn pinnacles out here. Somebody was trying to hold something back or hold on to something or control something because they had the control of something. Now somebody all in their head that they're going to be left out in the cold now. Because a secret was revealed. And you could be moving forward. Maybe they found out the truth. You're moving to more time of water. Six of swords. Okay. Or Aquarius told them that you move forward already. You're not dealing with that or whatever. It could have been Aquarius that was trying to line you up. It could have been um, a Taurus. Not a Taurus. What is this? Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Okay. A Gemini. A Leo. Okay. They all planned this. They all worked together for something. Okay. But now they're blaming each other. And for some of y'all, this could be the last part of your Akashic Records. There's something in your Akashic Records that had a lot to do with you mending your heart and dating or getting into a commitment or a relationship or something like that. This is what somebody been trying to hold you back from. Somebody could have tried to isolate you, stop you, whatever. This is, they're going, they're finding out, they're talking about this now, which brings a painful end into a mother figure or somebody that's the, in the authority position. They could be a higher fence, spiritualist, whatever. On the full moon, everybody knew this person was pressed about you. So it was like you was a big deal about something. Maybe I'm feeling something that's surrounded about money because a narcissist was trying to get information about something and there could have been an organization that promised these people 
that they will help them and now they're praying for forgiveness after whatever they did. Yep, because you was protected. Yep, we got a K. Okay, <laughs> you are protected. We got a K karmic woman. They know they made a bad choice. Scorpio, a year ago, Libra. Whoever these people were a year ago, they didn't want to let you go. In the fall. Somebody knew an earth sign was in love with you. Somebody want to visit you in your dream. Leaving them behind was the best thing today. Yeah. Because they can't get a pay raise. They can't believe they messed this up. In the springtime, they did it for money. H. M-N-O-R-P. I know you wouldn't want me for my money. Big dig energy. Your father S. All blockages are removed. Your child is blocked. Can you unblock me? I really want to talk to you. They salty as fuck. <clears throat> an old love. A karmic male. They could have planned this with a karmic male. That was an old love. A Virgo. That wanted to be with you. But they was afraid about what other people might say. Damn. Somebody with a red car. A Sagittarius. E, F, G, and H. Yes, they lied to you. Somebody would have bent me. Infinity, Subaru, or Lexus. They was doing black magic. L. An old love with an STD. Earth Angel, you got a soul contract. Somebody wanted power over you. C, L. They getting karma. He was trying to set her up. Bring your spend the night, babe. Damn. They can't get you fired or put out. They don't understand why. M V. They will need to copy your energy. K. Religious belief system. Somebody see you going through a body transformation. You can fit. Somebody watching you in tears. A narcissist watching you in tears. Wow. They want to pull up on you. Somebody that was not single. <laughs> Unfinished business and love with the air sign. We got YA. A, B, C, and D, he is big man. A cancer. It's your fault. I asked my friend to watch you and he fell in love with you. Sorry, that was funny the way they came out. I'm sorry, it's like they like it's your fault. I asked my friend to watch you and he fell in love with you, but you was protected a year ago. So they tried to set you up or whatever a narcissist and somebody they was like yeah watch her get information and they done fell in love with your ass. A Virgo, a Scorpio. Bring your spinning night bag in the reverse. A Aries. He was trying to set her up. Because now somebody not trying to set somebody up. Yeah, man. Love always wins. Somebody in love with your ass. You mean everything to me. I'm crying. I got to make it right. I got to make it up to you this lifetime. This is funny. <laughs> so this whole thing was so somebody... <laughs> Well, you know, it be like that, huh, y'all? 
It's a lot of damn people here. Somebody mad though. They didn't even feel bad for what they was doing though. So that what they get. This karma, that what they deserve the karma, yo. <clears throat> you can make this to the all that is and all that will ever be. We got new love on a new moon and path. 444. Four, four. Yeah, you staying focused to finish the job kind of energy. That's why them hexes and curses backfiring on them. Yep, all blockages are removed. You stay focused on the task at hand, collective. IJKL. What's the message? Oh, oh. third party. X E. Somebody with dreads or braids. I'm single. Yeah, your ex. <laughs> your ex might got dreads or braids. I don't know. Somebody ex do. They about to ghost you. Cause you opening your heart to me love. So some of this could be somebody from your past that was trying to get back around up in that junk. Cause they only want their money. But you like no. So you move forward. Maybe you dating somebody new or you will be in the near future around a new moon, whatever. And that's just that, you know. Um, I hope this helped.